This regards this is the regular standard boring integral. But still I'm doing it. Why? Just so that you would know how we solve these problems. And let's start. So we basically have integral from 0 to 1 uh, of x ln square x by notice that uh, th in this in such problems basically we will try to create a 1 minus r sort of thing and basically since it's going from 0 to 1 the modulus of this thing will be less than 1 and so we can form a geometric series and uh, so take an infinite sum and then simplify it so over here also you can notice that the first term is x to the power 3 by 2 whole square second term is x to the power 3 by 2 and third term is plus 1 so if you multiply it by 1 minus x to the power 3 by 2 this is going to simplify to the form that I have told basically this will be integral from 0 to 1 x ln square x 1 minus x to the power 3 by 2 now this is a minus b a square plus a b plus b square so it's a cube minus b cube yeah now I can use infinite geometric series basically 0 to 1 x ln square x this is so messy I'm sorry x ln square x only 1 minus x to the power 3 by 2 and then now sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of x to the power 9 by 2 to the power n yeah basically i have used the metric series for 1 by 1 minus x to the power 9 by 2 now let us take this constants inside and the integer sum in integral yeah so this is a pretty standard technique or to solve the problems yeah mm, from 0 to 1 okay now this one is x to the power 9n by 2 plus 1 ln square x minus x to the power 9n by 2 plus 5 by 2 ln square x and dx okay now let's integrate now this is also a standard form uh, and let me show you about that so basically this integral from 0 to 1 of ln x to the power n x to the power m dx this integral over here is equals to minus 1 to the power n gamma n plus 1 by m plus 1 to the power n plus 1 if you use that uh, this will just be sum from n equals to 0 to infinity now minus 1 whole square gamma of 9n by sorry gamma of 3 gamma of 3 by 9n by 2 plus 2 cube minus minus 1 square gamma of 3 by 9n by 2 plus 7 by 2 let me write it properly 9n by 2 plus 7 by 2 whole cube now this can be written as sum from n equals to 0 to infinity now this is just 2 and then I can take uh, 2 by 9 common out from both of them yeah so let me do that as well basically now this will be 8 by 729 and sum from n equals to 0 to infinity or 2 by n plus 
4 by 9 cube minus 2 by n plus 7 by 9 cube now how do we evaluate this sum so we have some standard tools for these sums so basically we know that di gamma function of 1 plus x this is just negative polar mass to constant plus sum from uh, n equals to 1 to infinity of 1 by n minus 1 by n plus x yeah okay now if i differentiate this we have a diagonal dash of 1 plus x at sum from n equals to 1 to infinity this basically goes to 0 this also goes to 0 1 by n plus x whole square and also i can make a change that if i start this from n equals to 0 i will just have n plus 1 plus x yeah now i can replace x plus 1 by x that gives me di gamma dash of x is equals to sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of 1 by n plus x whole square now if I again differentiate with respect to x we have tri gamma dash of x as sum from n equals to 0 to infinity minus 2 by n plus x whole cube so you will see that this sum over here is actually calls to tri gamma function and over here there should be minus 2 so this is 8 by 729 or uh, tri gamma minus tri gamma of 4 by 9 and then plus tri gamma of 7 by 9 and we know that tri gamma values that tri gamma of 7 by 9 is actually equal to uh, minus 4.79102 and tri gamma of 4 by 9 is minus 23.69 point six nine four using this you can find the answer and the answer will be zero point two zero seven four four that's the answer like i do think that you might not have lobbed the conclusion where i just used these values so if i had to use these values then I could have entered the initial problem itself into the calculator and then got the answer. But yeah, this is the way to do it. I think, or if you have any other better ways, you can suggest me in the comment section. And yeah, the flow was to turn into a geometric series, use, use infinite sum, use the gamma function formulas, turn into infinite series, use tri gamma function, and then solve it. Hope you enjoyed the solution. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too.